What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back to you today with another Scout Box unboxing. So if you're unfamiliar with Scout Box, maybe you haven't seen some of our other unboxings. This is a really cool um, outdoors subscription box for families. So uh, if, if your family's into camping, backpacking, hiking, anything like that, Scout Box is a lot of fun. Um, they promise uh, more value than you put into it every month. And it's always kind of a treat for our family to open up and explore and see what new gear and stuff we get to try at our next camping trip. So. Uh, this is the February uh, 2022 Scout Box. I have no idea what's inside, but I've already cut the seal, so let's open it up and see what's in here. Uh, this sticker is always fun to see. It's deceptive. Sometimes <laughs> there is a sharp object, like a knife or something cool inside. Sometimes there's not. So hopefully there's a sharp object inside. This is a light box this month, so let's see uh, what we have in here. So this month, I'm going to guess it's a medical theme. So here's the card. Looks like we have a few items. First aid is the theme of the month. Um, so you can read through those here. I'm not gonna read through myself yet because I like to be surprised as I dig through the box. So uh, let's see what we have in here. Uh, the first thing, we're right off the bat, this is actually a cool item. I'm familiar with this brand. Uh, this is the Boss First Aid Mini Kit. Um, the, so I guess Boss stands for Bug Out Survival Supplement. So uh, what we have here is a pocket first aid kit that's like in a nice uh, sealed bag. It's resealable too, kind of like a Ziploc container here, but it's full of um, all this gear inside. And you know what, this is probably where the sharp object is, but we got band-aids, bandages, uh, wound closure strips, moleskin, prep pads, uh, sting and bite pad. Man, that's actually awesome to have. Um, this is something you wanna throw uh, in the glove box of your car, or if you have a little go bag, or even a backpack that you take on a hike with you. Uh, this is the sort of stuff that you want because it just has just about everything you need um, unless you like <laughs> tore a leg off or something like that. Uh, this has just the gear you want to take with you uh, in a survival situation like that. So uh, really great item to have. I dig this brand. They make some really cool little kits. So uh, pretty fun here. Um, another item is a, I've actually never had anything from Ready Man. Uh, surprisingly, as many subscriptions as we get uh, these boxes and stuff, I've never had a Ready Man card. So this is my first one. It's a medical survival card. Um, so Ready Man, like their whole concept is basically a credit card sized uh, little toolkit that has all sorts of little things that you might need just in case. So I've seen fishing kits. Um, I've seen like a little hunting kit that has little pop out arrowheads. It looks like this is a medical kit. So I'm guessing it looks like these are um, like for ace bandages. It looks like these are little closures for that. Um, just lots of little items there that could come in handy. Let's see if we can slide this out. Um, and see what the key is here. So yeah, we have some tweezers, serrated blades, safety pins, needles, bandage clasps, I was right. Uh, two needles, oh, a tick fork, where's that at? Looks like, I guess this is the tick fork right here. That's a surprisingly handy item to have. We live in the woods in Tennessee, so that's something that comes in handy um, all the time. So cool little item to have. There's a lot of debate um, in like the outdoors and EDC gear community on whether or not these are actually cool or useful or not. I think they are pretty cool, especially something like this. Again, you're not, you're not gonna sew somebody's arm or leg back on this other but if you need um, some tools in a pinch, uh, this is nice to have. So yeah, first ready man card, that is the medical survival card. Um, a cool item to get uh, in a kit like this. So I'm guessing we have a bandana of some kind here. Let's open this thing up. So it looks like we have, I don't know if it's just descriptive of all these different injuries you can get. Oh, from the folks at Rats Tourniquet. They make a really popular tourniquet that a lot of people keep in their kits. But it looks like we have a bandana explaining all these different things you can use to, I guess, get people fixed up and everything. Maybe not much medical use from this. I guess unless you just want to look at this as a reference for how you can get somebody bandaged up or fixed up and stuff, but kind of a cool item. This is also an interesting, it's hard to see on camera here, this is an interesting shaped bandana. It's like a, a half square bandana. Most of the ones I have are, you know, your typical square shaped. So, uh, cool, yeah, that's a different kind of bandana to have. So, a nice thing to have in the box here. I'm guessing we maybe have, we'll feel around, maybe just one more item. No sticker this month, which is kind of sad, Scout Box guys, I love those stickers, but. We have a nice uh, first aid and survival stay alive guide here from My Medic. Okay, so My Medic, um, if you've ever followed along with some of the other stuff on our channel, we have one of their first aid kits that I keep in my truck, which is absolutely awesome. Like, if you're into like survival gear, first aid type stuff, My Medic is an awesome source. So, right off the bat, just knowing that this thing comes from them, 
Looks like you can get a free copy there if you scan the code, by the way. Uh, but just knowing that there's this tiny little kit. Um, well, look how great this is. This is actually some of these mini kits you'll get, and they have a ton of knowledge compressed into like a tiny little card that's basically useless. Like this stuff actually looks really helpful um, with step by step clear instructions, like using Quick Clot. Um, lots of little helpful um, guides here first aid stuff, fishing, improvised fishing. So it's a little survival thing too, but. A great little mini kit. Again, throw in a glove box, throw in a backpack. You never know when you need that stuff. And honestly, if you're camping with your kids, sometimes it's fun just to pull this out and try to figure out just basic bushcraft or survival skills using something like this. It's a fun kind of family activity to give them some real life skills. So that is this month's uh, Scout Box, February 2022. Kind of a light one with the exception of the, these kits are so good. So this is a huge item to have this month. I'm excited about that. But yeah, kind of a lighter month, but always fun. So if you want to get a scout box for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen. Um, it's a great subscription. Our family really enjoys it because it's stuff that is not just um, the typical survival and tactical stuff that I enjoy, that I, you know, me and my wife can goof off with at a campground, but it's stuff that they can keep in their little go kits and bags and that sort of thing. So uh, we always enjoy it. Um, it's, a, it's a subscription you might enjoy if you have an outdoorsy family. So definitely worth checking out. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more unboxing outdoorsy type stuff like this. There's a lot of stuff uh, coming down the pike that you're going to want to check out. And be sure to like this video if this unboxing was helpful to you. We'll see you next time.